Hello fellow cultivators, this video will be about Rue Field in the game Tale of Immortal. And Rue Field is something you can get once you break through from Soul Formation to Enlightenment, so Realm 7 to Realm 8. And depending on what kind of Dao Souls, you need 3 Dao Souls, and depending on what kind of them you use, the result in Rue Field will be different. So, because you have 3 Dao Souls, and uh, therefore you can have combinations of different elements, so there are 12 elements, so 6 martial skills and 6 spiritual ones. And if you, for example, if you use 3 Dalsos, all of them, the main element is sword, you will get a 3 sword Dalso. And if you get have 2 sword, 1 blade, you will get like 2 sword and 1 blade Dalso. So, some basic knowledge about Dalsos and which one is combinable and how do you get, you know, different the element that you wanted. Well, it's already covered in my Chaos playthrough episode 10, where I talk about soul formation time and basically Dao souls and Dao fields. And but this video is basically a combination, a compilation of the effects of different type of rule fields, so that you can take a look and choose whichever one you want. There's already a mini version of this guide, basically a, a spreadsheet in my channel. Uh, and I will also put that in the link at, uh, and in the descriptions of this video. So basically, one thing first. So if you have two sword and three sword, they are their effect is basically the same. Except if you have three, the numbers are higher, the effect better. But the, the whole thing is the same. However, if you have one sword, it's usually completely different compared to the case of two or three. And this is the case, it's the same case for every single element of the, out of the 12. And therefore, I will do this. First, I will show the effect of rule field with three sword, then three blade, three um, spear, etc. Going all through. And then instead of showing the effect of two of them, I will show the effect of only one element. So, and in this case, my rule field, for example, will be one sword, one blade, and one spear. And I will show you each of the ones, what one blade and one spear, what are their effect. Some of them effect, for example, here, three sword is purely damage. And therefore, in this case, I will simply show it in the martial arts arena. But some of them use more complicated. In those cases, I will probably go into a, a small battle against a real enemy and let you see how it works. And some of them is not that very easy to test. I will try my best to show you how they work. And okay, so let's first see. Starting from number one, three sword. So you can see here, it's written that basically it allows you to open this rule field. And every time an enemy inside rule field receives any damage, except the one by debuff, they will be infected with a stack of scar. Basically, it allows them to take more damage. So this is basically the best rule field I would recommend usually in terms of attack. There are a few cases which have better attacks, but in general, three sword is kind of the best. And you can see that in total 150 times and each 0.75%, which means you can deal a bit more than double damage compared to without rule field case. And it's actually very easy to show as well. Let's first go to Martial Arts Arena. And so against this, you can see that initially my damage 2848, right? And because right now I try to keep it simple, I only have my standard martial skill. So most of the time it's 2848. Now I turn on my Q. Now on top of this thing, you can see its number is increasing and the damage I deal with is also more. So now I deal about 6,000 damage. So 6,000 compared to 2,800 is up just a little bit above doubled. So it is works as what it says. Of course, there is another thing that reduces target skill rate by minus 25%. It probably works for NPCs. I don't know if it works for mythical beasts. It may be work, maybe not work, but I don't think it matters that much. So the main use of three sword is simple, yeah, and straightforward. 
double your damage. The next one is three blade, and to test it, I need to do it in a real battle. And this is because the blade has this thing that basically allows me to gain a lot of life steal, and also increase damage of both me and the enemy inside the room field by 100%. So in order to see if the enemy deals more damage, I need to test it with a real enemy instead of in the arena. And let's see, so I have lost quite a lot of HP, and once I switch on the roof field, I should immediately take it back. So, starting, we deal about 4,000-ish damage, alright? And I got, she does 16,000 damage to me. Now, let's turn on this roof field. Now I do more than 9,000 damage. So my damage is doubled. Okay, now let's see her then. Come on, do something more. Yeah, 32,000. So that's way more than those. So which means her damage is also doubled. So it basically works. And as you can see, it does allow me to have quite a good life still. So if I can continue increasing, it's not a problem. It's also double my damage, but it does have more, it's more risky compared to the three sword one. But it's more straightforward, increase 100% of my damage. Instead of, compared to sword one, I need to deal damage 150 times. Even though that is actually quite easy if you have, you know, very fast attack speed. So, I would still recommend three sword compared to three blade. The next one would be three spear. And I can directly tell you, three spear is not as good as three sword, neither is three uh, blade. This is because instead of increasing your damage by a percentage, what three spear does is to decrease the enemy's defense. And in total, minus 80 would have about 10 stats, it's 800 defense. And that is not enough to double your damage. And not mentioning that you need cast a special skill in order to apply this effect. And uh, yeah, it is probably designed for spear because you can cast spear very fast in order to make this into use. But it is actually better if you have zero CD special skill build. And the problem is even if you get 10 stacks in 0.0001 seconds, minus 800 defense just not enough. And let's take a look. So I will cast this. So it will be very fast, the number jumping out. So make sure if you want, you can pause the, the, the video to look at it. So first one, 223,000, or that's what I believe what it says. Now I press Q, 128, 20, 29, 29, 29, more, more, 3,000, yeah, 30,000, and this is already 9 stack, alright? So we are almost at the maximum, and 21,000. 21,000. That's literally the maximum. So basically it increased from 28,000 to 31,000 with the whole rule field effect and that's it. This is clearly a, an error in their design that they didn't put a number correctly. This is probably, I'm saying it without any evidence, but I think this is probably because the development team never really played this game on Chaos by themselves at least without using wind motion, you know, or without using some kind of cheating. Because they clearly, I mean, anyone who actually played Chaos and know the game mechanics know, would know that 80% 80 defense is not enough, you know, to make 3 Spear as good as 3 Sword, but at least they could hire someone who have the knowledge when they do this testing. But anyway, at the current time, the game is already have the ending, but they are said they are going to spend uh, a few months to polish the game before releasing the official version. So I hope they actually do a proper job like polishing it. Come on, three spear is useless. <laughs> Sorry to say, but it is. The next one would be three fist, and this is the one I would recommend if you are suffering with the game and you want more defense or stability. 
because it's quite simple, straightforward. Your damage taken minus 50%, so basically make you double times tank you. And also have a very interesting effect. Every time you receive damage, you will reflect 500% in how many damage back to the attacker. And it actually works quite well, especially if you have a shield that you are not receiving any damage when you have a shield. But those damage will still be reflected. And to showcase this, I will try to deal with the enemy. So it's 9 tails. And if you remember, she does around 16k damage to me. Yeah. And now I will turn on this. So first of all, you see that yeah, I receive 8k damage, and every time she attacks me, her this thing was uh, HP was also reducing. For example, every time I'm not really attacking her, but her HP is continuously reducing. That's the effect of the three fist damage reflection. And now I think once this is done, I will again receive the same amount of damage, so be careful for that. Well, the next one is 3 pound, and it's similar to 3 feet that it is making you more tankier. So every 2 seconds you inf you make a, a debuff on the enemy so that they deal 5% less damage. So which means at the end of duration 25 seconds, uh, you will have like 12 stacks, and in total like 60% 6 of damage reduction to the enemy, and it some, in some cases, it works even better compared to 50% damage received on yourself, like 3 fist. Um, and of course, there is also 500 damage percent that's negligible. The problem is you only get this at the very end of the true field. And, well, 3 fist, the moment you switch it on, you are already more tankier. So, that's that. And let's hope the enemy can actually give me a better show, because it's actually very difficult to show this. So, it. if I recall correctly, she, he will do 30, yeah, damage to me, no, 30k damage to me, 31 is less, 29 is less, you see that, it's because this, no, yeah, because when she, he does this, I, I switch on my Xiong so, and he will naturally deal less damage to me, so that's a problem. Okay, 16k, 14k, 14k, 13k, this is 12 stacks, and 16k, 32k back again. So it does work, reduce about 60% of his damage, it's just, it's at the very end it works better, initially it just reduce a little bit of the damage. The next one is actually an interesting case, three finger. Basically, once you allow, once you turn on this, it reduces uh, crit resistance, so that you can do have higher chance to do crit attack, and also enemy will lose 15% of the current energy when they receive crit. So it looks like it works really well with finger. It's, if you know how finger build works, and if you don't know, you are welcome to check on my the videos on my channel, which actually explains because finger really relies on you make enemy lose energy so that you can increase your own attack. But now. And usually you do it by using the special skill. And now I will try to do it without this and simply let enemy lose energy in this way and try to see if there is attack increase. So I come to here. Initially I do 2000. I turn on this. And see she is reducing a lot of damage. And you do not see attack increase. That is the problem. <laughs> so this makes the enemy reduce damage doesn't really work when you increase damage. Instead, for example, I'm doing, doing this. You see it attack increase now? It's much better when you're actually using the finger build. When I'm using my special skill and make the enemy lose the energy, I actually, this will trigger the attack increase of my finger divine power. And that makes finger build works. Well, this one, when you turn it on, your enemy lose energy, but that does not increase my damage, so this becomes useless. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. And you can also see that at the end, so you need to look back, at the end, I deal the enemy is doing zero energy, which means the enemy should have zero energy left. However, she can still cast skills to me, so 
don't even try to think, oh, I can reduce their NH to zero, so she won't cast skill. No, it won't happen. Somehow they can still cast skill. <laughs> the next one would be three fire. And what does it do? It's basically every time you receive damage, including a life, you, you will receive a buff by yourself, which increases your damage by 4% and restores some HP. And this buff lasts 12 seconds. Well, the entire dual fuel can last starting from 25, and if you have uh, wood and spear as your lesser element, you will be even like 40 seconds. But so, which because it depends how frequently you receive damage. That's the thing. And if many balls in this game have very high damage, but does not really have that very high attack speed, so in that case, you might not use, you know, be able to use this to the maximum. One thing you can use is, is to combine with the uh, Netherbird Phoenix, which, which a lot, where once you switch it on, it will reduce your HP every second, every, basically over time. And you can see, so right now I'm dealing 674 damage to the to the target, and if I turn on the full field, switch it on, and it starts to increase as I'm burning off my HP, but I'm also recovering. So right now, the Phoenix power is finished. I'm at dealing 998. So, and then because this buff is decreasing, so I'm coming back to 674. So basically, it is not that bad because if you are receiving a lot of damage over time, this can actually increase your damage quite well. Like it goes from 674 to 900 something just by switching on the the Phoenix power without receiving any other damage. But you know. You need it, the the criteria is somewhat a bit more strict, and it is much easier if you just switch on a sword or a blade one. The next one is three water, and for some reason I can't show this in the arena because it doesn't show the damage, so I have to deal with a uh, real enemy again. But it's quite simple. For every second, you will consume ten percent of your MP and deal water damage. And for every MP consumed, it will increase your damage. So obviously, it will be work better with either a water build where you have a lot of MP, and MP recovery, which is very important because otherwise you consume 10% of energy, so you will soon lose every single of your MP. And instead, or you can just have a Go Chenso, which allows you to basically have infinite MP. And let's go and switch it on. I'm trying not to use any other damage, all right? So, I switch. Rule field, and I am doing damage to them. It's not much. Like I'm losing 2,000 damage, and uh, she's losing somewhat like 12k damage. So, and it doesn't seem to be very consistent as well. So yeah, it works, but not super great. The next one is Three Lightning, and it is an interesting one. So first of all, blind all enemies inside the field, I am not sure what does it do, because I think enemy will still try to attack you if you're only the one person there. Then the cooldown of your martial skill minus 60%, but your damage minus 50 after 50%. Basically, you'll reduce your damage by to half but you have much very fast cooldown, basically very fast attack. Now, I can tell you that this damage is 50%, but it's only for your martial slash spiritual skill, not for every, everything else. And then, this is the main thing, so basically you have very fast attack. And this the whole idea is because it's for lightning build. Again, if you want to see a analysis for lightning build, you're welcome to look at my analysis, my in-depth lightning guide. But the point is, lightning build won't have a lot of high frequency attacks trigger the lightning bolt and therefore to increase your damage. Here in this case, just for the test, I did not equip a lightning secret manual or lightning so that my lightning bolt, the damage amplification can mess up with the results. So don't use whatever is shown here. But the idea is to have you very fast attack to make you, you know, have higher damage, especially for everything else apart from your martial skill. And also for every 10 martial skill, you generate a ball of lightning, which deals some damage. So let's first look. If my normal attack is about 674, all right? 
and my lightning cloud does around 320 damage. Remember this. And now if I turn it on, my normal damage become only 330, so it's much lower damage, right? But if I turn on the... Uh, if you can see that my uh, lightning cloud is still doing 320 damage, though it doesn't change my uh, lightning cloud damage. And you can see this light ball of lightning slowly towards the enemy. It does do some damage as well. And 60% of increase definitely works. And you can sort of see that right now my fist shadow is slower than before when this switch on. So it might be useful, especially for lightning build, because <laughs> for lightning build, your damage really mostly coming from your lightning bolt damage amplification combined with your out, your, and your special skill, and even your motion skill with all those lightning bolts. And I think a 50% of sacrifice of your spiritual or martial skill damage is worth it if you, especially in the early time when you don't have that fast cooldown. Now the thing is, you can, you don't need to use lightning martial skill. That's first of all. And second, if, if you basically if you're using any actual martial skill instead of spiritual skill, you can use martial skill specification, which already have a pretty good cooldown reduction. And uh, because cooldown reduction is multiplication, not adding together. So this 60%, when you already have a lot of cooldown reduction, is not as significant as it should be. So basically, this thing could be very good if when you are in the early stage, using a lightning spiritual skill and do not have any cooldown reduction. For example, you are using a laser bird which actually increases the cooldown and increases the damage. Then it might be worth it. But then, well, in actual game, in, when you play lightning, you can, for example, I'm using a fist or palm and I, yeah, I can have using a very fast uh, laser bird like bluebird. I can have in general cooldown reduction already, like martial skill specification in this case. And then in that case, 60% is not that significant, and the damage reduction of 50% might just be too much. So it's your own choice. And especially, another thing is when you have Supernova Sword, you anyways have already very high frequency attack to trigger your lightning bolts. You don't really need this roof field. In that sense, this roof field is like, it, the idea is good. It can work, and it seems that it's fun, but in actual practice, it becomes more or less like, yeah, it works, but it doesn't really useful. It's much easier to actually just apply a three sword and just do double damage. The next one is also quite interesting, it's three wind. In some sense, it's actually even better than three sword for the, in the case of damage amplification. Basically, it allows you to increase your damage 9% 9, 9 every second if you're not taking any damage. So with 25 seconds, you are get more than 100% of damage increase. And also it allows you to cast skills while your motion skill is taking effect. So the whole idea of this is actually a funny story. So you know that wind motion skill allows you to be invisible and you can cast your skills. So basically that's why wind sword allows you to do damage while you are invisible all the time. It's one of the best you know, build for new players. But it is kind of like a bug because you are not supposed to be invisible all the time and dealing damage. So this is how it works in the very beginning stage of the game. And when they introduce the whole rule field and basically to the realms, the the soul formation and enlightenment. So they cut this the wind sword, basically not allow you to do using any spells when you are using wind motion, which in my opinion is actually a very good move. They should have kept this change. However, many players were very unhappy about it. And they basically asked the dev team to change it back, which is a shame. And to be honest, it is a shame. But anyway, this is the solution they provided when they did that change. So basically, you can only cast skill while using your motion skill while switching on the rule field. And to be honest, this is a very, very good idea. I mean, I actually appreciate how the dev team actually thought about this way. So yeah, if you want to use your wind sword, fine, just switch on three wind. 
The problem, is, of course, in general, is limited by the fact that Ru Field is limited by Dao Power, and your Dao Power cannot recover without just waiting. That's its main problem. So instead of solving this main problem, which affects all Ru Field, they just reverse Ho Si back, which is not really a great way to deal with this thing. Let's come back to the thing. So this. You can cast skill while you are using motion skill, it's not only for wind motion. For example, if you're using earth motion, it also works. And also, since you can also see the damage increase. For example, I'm doing 374 damage in my martial skill. I am doing 528 damage with my special skill. Let's switch on wind and switch on my motion skill. I can still use my this, and it's already doing more damage. Notice that I can't use my martial skill skill. And as time passes, the damage even goes even higher. Right? I can't use my martial skill, but I can use my special skill. And now it's 1800. So it can increase, or even 2000 now. And once it's switched uh, off, and my damage back to normal. So you can see that it's increased my damage a lot, almost 3 to 4 times. So it's much even greater compared to Three Sword. The limit is, of course, you need to not take any damage, which is not that easy. It is easy when you're using Wind Motion. So if you're using Sword Wind, just use this. It's even better than Three Sword. Or if you're using some build which allows you to not taking any damage, if you are doing correctly, for example, Water Sword, then you can also use Three Wind. It is a great damage amplifier. Just Make sure you don't get hit. And also, I think if, again, if the roof field become more useful that you can recover your Dao power, you can even think of using an Earth build where you are just in, you know, using your motion skill and reduce the cooldown, increase the duration time so, so that you are using the motion skill under become invincible and using your other skills. You can't use your spiritual skill, that's still a pity, but still Earth Field also have a lot of golem to help you, so that is a one way. But rah, it's limited mainly by the fact that Rufield Field itself is limited. And the next one is Three Earth. It's actually an interesting one. So basically, every time any of your summons and yourself inside Rufield Field receive damage, you will share 50% of the damage to everyone else. So share here means that, let's say for example you have 10 summons and yourself, alright? And which means every time you receive any damage, you take 50% first of all, and the other 50% will be shared with your 10 summons, so each of them will take 5% of the coming damage. So it's actually quite good, because in a way that it is almost like 50% damage reduction, just like a 3 fist. The problem is of course when your summon is receiving any damage, you are also getting shared. Again, if in the case, let's say, your one of the summons is receiving a damage, you are going to share five percent of that damage. This sounds quite good because you're thinking, yeah, five percent not much. However, there are problems. First of all, it's not that easy to gather ten allies. Many times you have like two, maybe three summons, and in that case you are going to receive quite a lot, not 5%, but almost like 10%, 20% of your damage. And also, another thing might be more important because boss does AoE damage. So it's very common that all your summons are surrounding the boss and the boss using this one skill which deals AoE damage to all of them. And in that case, each of them, you take all of their damage. So. Basically, each of them you take 5%, but 10 of them together, you are still receiving 50% of the whole damage. And that's not that great. <laughs> but yeah, in general, I think it's still better compared to without it. So, and it's also an interesting idea, because each time any of your summon receive damage, you have a 50% chance to trigger a blast dealing some sort of earth damage. The thing is, this earth damage is a bit too low. It's kind of sad. <laughs> so, if the, this damage is a bit higher, then it may be useful, but again, it's kind of limited. You need, only can use it when you have a lot of summons, 
and I will try to show this in the battle, but because it's not very clear how it works, so I will try my best. All right, let's try this. So I have three summons, and let's first turn on this, and please do some damage to me. Yeah, 30 something, I think that's still the correct. Now I switch on my rule field. It's really hard to see what how much damage he does to me. Especially when he starts doing this. 19, okay. 15, 15. So it's much less compared to 32, I assume. Now do one, do one more. Yeah, 33. I think that's it. <laughs> so it works. As you can see, I'm only receiving 19 compared to 34. And I need to pause again before I die. But you see that it does work. And uh, of course, when my summon is receiving damage, I'm also receiving a little bit more damage. So I would say in general, it's still better than that. But yeah, if you, I think still, three feet will be much easier and better because you can also reflect damage. Come on, that's easier. And next one is three wood. It is again a summon related blue field. It allows you every summon inside this uh, blue field keep fighting for 25 seconds without receiving any damage or so, but when they are supposed to die. So even if, let's say, if they were supposed to be killed, it will keep fighting. And it's quite good to make you to maintain your high number of the summons. And uh, also, if you have three wood, each of these units have a 50% chance to inflict a stack of points and throw on the target. And uh, let's see this in the actual fight. So, I hope this is... Okay, one minute. Alright, let's see if this will work. So I'm against Duncan here, I have some summons, and let's see if some Duncan's attack kill off some of my summons, and when I switch on Rufio, it might still work. So I'm going to turn on this, switch on Rufio, and I'm not doing a summon attack, come on Duncan, be more useful. And it should have killed this pig, I think, and pig is still attacking. And see these two, they are still attacking, even though they are supposed to be dead. And Duncan is having some poisons poison right now. I think that would be it. So you can see that it does work. It can allow you to keep your quite high number of summons while they are supposed to be dead. And that's it. The next would be single element rule field and uh, instead of showing you one single element and two other like two element for example one fist and two sword because in that case two sword is basically the same thing as three sword so what i'm gonna do is to put three single rule field at the same time and let you see what do and hopefully we can show it in battle some of them are not that easy for example the fist one for every enemy inside the field damage increased by seven percent okay i mean how do i even show that clearly it does work and uh, of course this means one thing so you see that this clearly means one thing. if you want the one sword effect like infect all enemies in that field with a debuff so that every time they move they receive sword damage and the two sword effect basically make them receive more damage when you do attack to them it's impossible you can only have because that will make it three sword basically a standard three sword effect so basically, it's impossible to have the two effects, so one single element effect and two slash three single element effect of the same element at the same time. You can only either have two uh, same elements plus one another element, or you can have three different elements, or you can have three same elements. So that is a limit there, but that's how the system works. So let's hope this will do so fist 
as you can see it's already simple you just increase damage with more enemies inside the field when you are dealing with one enemy this is useless fire every time an enemy receives damage from a debuff remember this from a debuff so not all damage they will be inflicted with a stack of some kind of debuff which reduce their defense by three and in total 100 stacks this is not good not good at all like in total 300 stack uh, defense is just if you remember what i said in the three spear one that's at least like 800 or 900 defense armor and that's still not that great and 300 in this case is even worse and it's also much difficult more difficult to trigger because the damage needs to be coming from a diva for example a palm or a sword um, bleed so yeah not really great and the sword one looks fun if the enemy moving they will receive some damage but it's kind of neg negligible as well so i don't think any of this is that useful all right what's the best way of showing you this first of all i will switch on my roof field and fix have some uh, debuff from my palm which means I do more damage to it it will have the new debuff from the fire thing that will receive uh, lower damage uh, sorry lower defense and I don't think I can show you because the defense is so less that my damage doing damage to hurt him is uh, increased more also it's because the damage shown here they will show the actual true damage from the palm which will not change because of the defense change so it kind of mixed up with all the numbers but I think you would just see another icon shows up here, which means that it, it does get affected by this blue field. Also, let's see if he will receive any damage when he's moving, and if there's any effect there. And for the fist, I don't think I can show it, <laughs> because the numbers change. It's 7%, not that clear. So, let's switch it on. And you see there's a little bit of effect here, 7. Now, would you care to move? Please. Ah, you see? He's moving and he's receiving some damage. So great. I think that would be it. The next three are Palm, Water, and Blade. So they can be fun as well. So first of all, Palm is just like Fist. I did hear of all enemy inside the field minus 20%. I sorry I can't show you because it's you know, they may walk a bit slower, but I don't know if that's irrevisible from the video. But I believe it works. Okay. And then water is fun. Every time an enemy inside the field dies, you have 20% chance to summon a phantom with dead enemy. They can move and attack and die after receiving 7 attacks. So basically you can... I think I need to switch this on while killing some mobs. And to see if they will revive them. It's fun maybe, but not that useful. <laughs> Let me just say that. And then blade. Fun fact. It does work. Every time the enemy inside cast a skill, they receive... Say 0.5, blade damage looks like nothing, but if the enemy consumes energy, they will receive additional 10 times blade damage. So the first way it works very well for, let's say, an NPC, right? And even for the mystic monsters, so more your general enemies, they actually still work, which is interesting because if you remember the three finger roof field shows that even if they have zero energy, they can still cast skill. So, so that means that they will cast skills without using any energies, therefore they won't receive any damage, blade damage here. But turns out they do receive some blade damage. So it's a mystery to me. But uh, yeah, let's see how does it go. Alright, let's talk about this again in battle. So I'll switch on the thing and try to kill all the mobs and try to see if they will revive. It might have a bug here, because I've tried several times it doesn't revive any of the dead which is weird because i have tried it before and it works and before here means before the newest update maybe they break it maybe there's something bug conflict between water and palm or blade because i didn't try this three element together i don't know but i hope it will have some phantom that i was just unlucky that there's nobody got summoned and then we will try to not attack duncan and try to let him cut skills and try to see if he lose any HP so you, you should focus on the HP bar part. Alright, switch it on. Kill the mobs. Ah well yeah yeah there is some someone someone see this is what the phantom and 
ที่Think he does receive some damage, right? Right? <laughs> and just to show you this, I'm dead. Have to reload again. The next one would be finger, lightning, and spear. So finger reduce increase cooldown of all enemies plus 30%. And uh, it might work on NPCs. I don't think it will work on mythic monsters because. I don't think they have any cooldown, <laughs> so that's there. And lightning, one lightning for every seven seconds, you create a clone of every enemy in the position. And uh, so this is actually fine. We can clearly see clone. It's similar to water, so we see. But if they're killing them and revive them, it's just standard clone. And spear is looks okay. Like every two point five seconds, you can do a guaranteed crit crit attack. Sounds almost like a mini mini version of Murder Thrice. The problem is just one critic attack, and you can't really guarantee that one critic attack is your highest damage skill. For example, Dragon Rising for using spear, because I think that's the idea behind this thing that they want you to guarantee a, a crit on your Dragon Rising, which does a lot of damage. But what if you are doing? Standard martial skill attack, and that crit ends up to be the standard martial skill attack. You can't guarantee that, or it could be even a small attack from your summons. So, yeah, I mean, especially with spear, if you're using one of the out with summons a thousand of spears, which does very little damage, the crit attack will probably end up to be one of the small damage skills. So, it isn't great as well. Okay, so finger I can't show. Lightning that's just see some phantoms appear, and for spear I'm not sure I can show this, but just make sure that you can see there is a debuff appears on their body. That's all. Let's switch it on directly, and yeah, this this cologne won't happen for himself. It can only happen with mobs, and obviously. This is just annoying at this point. Yeah, this is the debuff, all right. Yeah, and you can see a crit. And now, yeah, this was Colognes. So I think that should be enough. All right, the last three single elements: one wind, one earth, and one wood. And fun fact: this is actually something I think is actually useful. Like four change, I have shown many other three single elements, and you can see many of them not that great. Some of them can be fun, like water or lightning, which create some kind of phantoms, but not super useful. Useful, and things like, for example, sword or blade, which make them deal damage when they are moving or when they cast skills. Not much damage can be done; it's very little can be ignored. And then there are things like.、Uh, Which one was it? Fist, yeah, increase the damage, which sounds good. Or there are things like palm or finger, like increase their cooldown or reduce their agility. Maybe work, maybe not work. Isn't that great in any way? However, these three are kind of useful. First of all, wind, single wind, increase agility, basically your speed, 25%. Always great, and you always welcome a good increase of speed. Makes you easier to dodge. And then you have wood, which is good every time you summon a unit. It says analyze. It doesn't say include yourself, but I think it does include yourself. <laughs> so you have 30% chance to summon double the unit, and it's good, great for summon,、uh, any kind of summon build, right? And I think the whole idea, if it doesn't include yourself, that means it only works for the mushroom because the mushroom can summon more, and maybe for your horn. But I don't know if that even ever will work or not. But、uh, I do think in my previous test, I do think I can see that there's a chance that I have double the unit. And then the earth part, basically every every time an ally receives damage, your damage taken minus one percent. So which means if you have summons are receiving a lot of damage fifty times, you got fifty percent of damage reduction, and that's one single earth instead of like three earths or three fists. Which means you can at the same time joining your double summon. With from wood and and speed increase from wind, so I think this is actually a 
not a bad combination for a change. But let's see how it works in the battle. Okay, so I'm against Duncan. I will switch on the roof field. I will move a bit faster. Maybe it's hard to see, but I show it works. And for the Earth part, I will try to summon it. And I don't think it's that easy to see that how much my damage taking is reduced as well because you need 50 stacks. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if it's even possible to show it. But for the wood part, I hope I'm lucky enough to have this 30% chance double summon to happen because if I'm just unlucky it just never happens so I switch on this I oh it's starting with double summon that's great so I got 33,000 right now my people will hit a lot a lot right right now please using your thing to me again don't use this yeah, 29. So, yeah, this damage decrease does work. So, it's not bad. I think it's a pretty good combination, just especially just for the Diamond Summon part. It's almost like a little Spirit Fusion. Yeah. Alright, I think I've showed every single combination, including three elements with all different 12. Uh, three same elements with all two, three different 12 skills, like three swords, three fists, etc. As well as four combinations, I mean combinations of three single elements, like wind, earth, wood, this and that. I mean, it's not necessary you have to use this combination, you can use all kind of different combinations together to choose. But I think wind, earth, wood is something, in my opinion, is kind of useful for a summon build. You might consider this. But still, in general, my recommendation would be if you want general damage damage uh, amplification, you want three sword. If you want general damage reduction, you want three fist. I mean, there are some contenders. For example, three blade for damage increase is good, and you can also increase your life steal. And the most important part is like instant 100 damage time damage increase, 100% damage increase instead of you have to deal 150 times of attack compared to three sword, but it is more risky and if you have, if you have built a character correctly, 150 times attack is not that difficult, maybe you can achieve it in one or two seconds. So three sword still is generally great. And another contender for example, I would say three wind if you can avoid all damage, then three wind definitely is even better than three sword. Instead of 2 times damage, you might do 4 times damage at the end. And uh, what else? Yeah, 3 pound for damage reduction might be good if at the end of the part. But because it's instead like 3 sword, you do damage to increase the stack of the buff, debuff. 3 pound is really you have to wait with time to increase the stacks of debuff. So re you really only get better effect in terms of damage uh, reduction compared to 3 fist at the very end of the rule field, so, which is not great. So if you want, and of course 3 earth may be okay for summon build, but I still think if you just want damage reduction, 3 fist is just the best. And you know, some re reflection damage actually can do much better a job compared to all the other so-called dealing damage type of roof field. But in the end, the roof field still suffered from the fact that it takes time for it to charge. In my case, 15 seconds. It's because I my lesser uh, elements are palm and water because I want to reduce the time so for recording the, this. And actually, it takes even longer time to charge, right? And same thing, duration 27.5 because I already have a wood here which increased 2.5 seconds. But actually, as the standard duration 25 seconds, and if you have more, like say, elements like wood and spear, it can increase to 40 seconds. And the uh, cooldown is super long, it costs 100 dub power, and you in total have 300 or 200 something dub power. You can use it two or three times, then you have to wait a few months to recover. There's no other way to recover it. They really need to change this to make it work. And as I said, I also hope they can 
get rid of the sword wind thing, like so that you cannot attack when you're using wind motion, unless you switch on a three wind rule field. But to do that, you need to first make the rule field more available. At not only that you can recover that power, but also maybe for example, make the increased duration time, reduce the reduce the charging time, and reducing the the cost. So basically, you need to somewhat do some changes to make this thing more relevant. Because at this point, it feels like I spent so much time and energy to. Farm down field and everything, and in the end, I get something I'm not even using it for. The, so it feels a big waste of energy, and not only for the players who farmed and getting this rule field, but also a waste of effort for the development team who actually think thought about so many different effects. And、uh, I might also even think of some other effect. For example, the whole rule field thing, which means you are in total control of this element. Let's say if you have three switch on the three sword rule field, maybe you can just neutrify neutrify all the sword damage compared to you, because you are controlling sword element. I mean, all these ideas are possible, and I do hope the development team in the next few months, where they promise when they promise to polish this game, can take it into consideration and try to make this thing better. And、uh, this video might be quite long and. Jumping from here to there, but I hope it explains it. And if you just want a simple summary, there is always a small spreadsheet, a screenshot spreadsheet, and I will put the link in the description. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.